peel it around. Ugh. Actually, that was probably one of the better times I took that corner. Ah, and then I hit a tire wall. Hi everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to my shop. We just recently hit level 30, so I finally have the ability to unlock the paint base. We're going to expand on our garage today. This should get it out to the largest size at this point. Expands your garage, adds paint shop, dyno, and another lifter to your garage. So we'll have three total lifters. And I, to be honest with you, I haven't really been using multiple lifters to any great degree. Uh, sometimes I'll bring in more than one car. When I, when I was trying to get a lot of experience, I would try to grab cars that only had like one thing that needed doing on them. And I would bring in multiple cars so that I wouldn't lose the, the opportunity to work on that particular job. However, we do have uh, we do have a couple of expansions here now. So this is the paint bay in here, I believe, where we can do the, the painting. And if I'm not mistaken, this is like a wind tunnel in here where we can run the car and kind of check the airflow over it. Uh, this might be something they're intending to add later, maybe, because there doesn't seem to be any way to actually go in here just yet. So maybe there's some DLC that'll be coming for that or some sort of an update where that'll become useful. And I suspect that'll probably be in relation to tuning the car. Uh, although, again, like when I try the races, the track is so twisted you're not racing against other people or other even a, like a, a computer control player so i mean i don't know i don't really know what the whole point would be of tuning necessarily aside from just making a car that looks awesome <laughs> it sounds really cool but uh but here's the here's the paint base if we open this up wide i have no idea how to use this since i only just unlocked it uh it doesn't look like there's any like oh here we go hold on paint shop paint part so, I, okay, I guess we can paint individual parts in here. That's kind of cool. And I have a couple of parts that were just sort of sitting in my inventory. So I'm going to try painting one of these, maybe. We'll see what happens if we try it. Let's paint the, the door. Oh, cool. Okay, so it kind of hangs it right there. Um, now, how do I work on this? The paint mixer is up here, and there's a light that's right behind it. So it actually, it's so bright, I can't even see the, the coloring on here. Um, so let's do paint type metallic. Uh, livery. We're not going to use any livery on this right now. Quick colors, um, set current. All right, sure, why not? Paint car. Do I have to actually do the? No, nope, it looks like it just it just sort of painted it on its own. I think I can't I can't see the part. I can't move the camera around. That kind of stinks. Probably with a full car, it might work a little bit better because you can actually see more. And fortunately, we have a car that we can try painting. So we've been working on the Dodge Charger for a while. Or rather, we, we, we worked another one day anyway. We did all the mechanical parts on it. And then I took it out for a drive while it was, like, incomplete. Um, and I want to get the body finished on it now. I have the ability to repair some of the body pieces. We can replace other ones that I can't repair, which is good. Uh, and then, now that we have the paint bay, I guess we can paint the car up. We can make it all look fancy and new, which is something we just didn't have it to this point. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I really want to get that in and do that. So, I think for today, what we're going to do, now that we have the paint bay unlocked, is we'll focus on fixing up the body on the Dodge Charger. We'll bring that in. Uh, if we have a little bit of time afterwards, I might do uh, might do some more raiding of the junkyard, and we'll see if we can find anything else to add to our collection. Uh, and then next time, we'll, we'll come back and do a video, just like a full build, like right from the beginning all the way up. But I want to get... The, oh. Oh, neat. Okay, so I have... I have two parking levels now. I didn't realize that. This must have just recently unlocked, because I uh, up until now, I only had one parking level, and it would show me... It'll show you the actual cars that are on that level, which is cool. So we're going to go to this parking level here. See if we can get that Dodge Charger. That's pretty cool. I thought I was going to be really limited in the number of cars that I could have in my garage because I'm, I'm actually getting down to the last few spaces here. I only have like three more spaces on this particular level. Oh, look at this thing. So I brought this car back from... Uh, I think it was actually the junkyard we found it last time. And it looks dramatically better. Like the body on it actually... It looks reasonable at this point. It was so dirty and covered in rust and stuff. It was hardly recognizable before. You bring it back to the shop... And, it, you know, it gets automatically better. That's kind of crazy. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of work to do on that. I think that might be the car we're going to tackle next. Maybe. I don't know. I've got, a, I've got a couple things in here I want to tackle. So here's our Dodge Charger that we've been working on. And obviously, the body of it is in just horrible shape. I, I don't even know how we go about repairing the body portion of it. I, I think you're, you're supposed to be like a welding tool or something you can use on it. But uh, let's send this off to the garage. I don't want the overview. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I had to go into the status, and you can see I've fixed up all the mechanical pieces. It's 100% on everything. But the global body condition is at 7%. That's pretty awesome. The funny thing is, even though I have all my parts at 100%, it still shows here that it's at 99% for global parts condition. Uh, but let's send this into the garage. We'll get to work on the body, and then we can get it all painted up. All right, so we have it uh, We have it in the garage. I don't know that I necessarily even need to put it on a lift, because we're just doing body on this thing. So 
have no idea how we could fix the actual body component of this, though. So you can see that it's, it's all it's all well and rusted in here. Uh, but let's get let's just rip off all the pieces we can rip off. We'll fix what pieces we can fix. Apparently, it's funny you can select the body and you can try to do like a, a takeaway on it, but it won't let you. So I guess the fender and everything on the or the uh, the grill and everything on the front is apparently part of the body. Man, there really wasn't a whole lot to take off. I mean, the trunk and everything was already off of this thing because we're missing it. The hood, the doors, the body piece itself, we can't do anything with. Let's get the glass, though. We'll replace all the glass on it. I don't think we're going to really be able to fix too many of the parts. Oh, there's no windshield. <laughs> That's even better. I was driving, I was racing this thing down the road on the racetrack and stuff with no doors and everything. And I thought that was neat, but there was not, it wasn't even a windshield. All right, so let's fix up the pieces we can fix. Uh, and there's nothing we can fix. That's great. All right. I guess we're going to be buying a lot of parts. Now on the plus side, we're uh, we're pretty well off money wise. We're up over four hundred thousand now, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's get the front. We'll get both the doors. We'll need the uh, the front bumper. I need some glass. You know what? I'm gonna wind up just buying everything. This is kind of crazy. Let me let me snag all the parts, and then we'll get all. We'll go back and we'll get all these assembled on here. All right, cost us a pretty decent chunk of money, but we have all the new parts and everything. So let's get this all reassembled. I'm sort of hoping that when I take it into the paint bay and do the paint job on it, that it will fix up the pieces that aren't so great looking. Uh, I have a feeling it's it's not going to, then we'll still see rust there, and I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. I think someone had said at one point that there should be a welder here somewhere that we can fix the body with, but we may not be able to do that until we get to level 35. I feel like this is just dragging on forever. Because I know at level 35, there's there's um, another another skill you can unlock that gives you like a two-star parts repair. And it does say on that one specifically you can fix fix body parts. And I, I thought it had meant like all the like uh, the doors and the trunk and all that. But that seemed to unlock around level 25 instead. And I could fix those pieces then. Whereas um, before that, it was only like the mechanical parts I could fix. So I've kind of already been fixing the body pieces for a while. It's just the actual core body of the car that it doesn't look like I have that ability to fix up. With any luck, a fresh coat of paint will take care of it for us, though. So, actually, the matte black is kind of cool looking, but I do want to have it more of a glossy look. Let's send this over to the paint bay, and we'll see how this works out. Uh, there's our paint bay. This is going to look so nice when it's finally all finished. I thought when we were in here we would actually get to, like, spray the spray the car down and stuff, but, that, you know, that just doesn't seem to be the case. You just, from what I've seen anyway, you just kind of click on paint shop. And it kind of does all the work for you, I guess. All right, so there's our matte black car. Um, I don't want metallic. I want more... Uh, I guess maybe I do. Matte, pearl, chameleon. I don't know what the deal is with all the different colors. I guess we'll just leave it as a metallic color. Um, quick colors, set factory, set current. I don't know. I guess it's set for a black color. It's only going to cost us a thousand to paint. Let's give this thing a quick paint job and see what it looks like. Yeah, that, that, that really did nothing for the body. Oh, that stinks. And it's charging me each time I click on it. So let's not do that. <laughs> All right, so actually, it's not even that shiny. For the, the, the doors and stuff that I painted up, I mean, the windows look great. The doors and everything I painted up, and they don't look shiny at all. I'm not liking that. Man, do I have to get a level 35 to fix the body on this thing? That is just crazy. I feel like I've done so many... So many repair jobs to try to get this thing into a position where I could get it all, like, brand new looking. And it's, the front end of it's looking nice where I have the parts on it, but, it, like, even if we pop the hood open, it still looks, it looks horrible in here. And why isn't that more of a shiny color? Like, it should be a gloss black, I would think. There's gotta be, there's gotta be an option for a gloss in here. I mean, we've got metallic. Pearl. Oh, it actually kind of gives you a sense of what it's gonna look like, I guess, when you... Chameleon. I, I, I don't know. There's the matte black color. There's the pearl black. It's so hard to tell the, the color differences when you're trying to trying to pick it here. Uh, I'm gonna try the. Let's try the chameleon one. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. But we'll try. We'll check it out anyway. All right. So that that definitely looks shinier than it did, but still not like a like a deep gloss black the way I would expect it to be. I mean, it's nice. It just doesn't. It doesn't look as glossy as I thought it would. I don't know. So, 
Well, we've got our car painted, but the, uh, until we get the body fixed on it, it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot we can do on this. So, um, there's got to be some way to get that fixed. I think it might have to be when I get to level 35. Man, every time I every time I hit a new little benchmark in here, and I think I'm going to unlock all the stuff that I want to be able to do everything that I want to do in my shop, there's still something more I got to reach for. Um, I someone had mentioned before that there is a welder in here somewhere that you can use to fix it. I have a feeling I'm going to have to wait until I get to a higher level. That does look pretty sharp for the for the part that's finished, but until we get that body fixed up, like it's it's in rough shape. Wait a minute, we do have access to the welder here. Can I use this now? Let's move this over to Carlifter 1. And we'll see if I actually have the option to use this thing. That would be great. Use equipment. Do you want to repair Dodge Charger for $1,000? Yes, I do. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Okay, so I guess it was just unlocking that last section of the bay. It gave us access to the welder. And that, that looks pretty sharp. Again, I, I really wish I could get like a deep gloss black, but it, it just doesn't seem to have that as an option. This does look really cool though. Okay, so we've got the whole exterior of the car all finished up. It looks so much better when you pop the hood. Look at that. That's all, that is just fantastic. I might have to look up some color options and see if maybe there's a maybe there's a setting you have to do on it to give it more of a glossy finish. That looks great. Um, so I guess when it comes down to it now, I think the only thing left to do if it's Actually, how do I... Garage entrance. Okay, so I can send it back to the entrance. Um, I want to see if there's, like, interior that we can do. Because I don't have a steering wheel still. <laughs> there's nothing I can do to, to work the interior. So it looks like... Even just fixing the body, I don't know that it's done much for the interior here. So if we go to... I don't want to start the car. I guess we'll hop out. Let's see now. If we go to uh, interior disassemble... Oh, is that is that it? All we can do is take out the seats? That's all we can do to disassemble the interior. That's, um, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I should see, actually, is if there's any seats that we can get in it. So, interior assembles. So these seats are just front left seat. Bench seat. Oh, there was supposed to be a bench seat in the back that's not in there. It's totally missing. Um, steering wheel. All right. I mean, what options do we have for the steering pieces and whatnot? That's actually, I don't even know. I haven't done an interior at all yet on a car. So we can do a we do a bench seat. Uh, we can do actually there should be an interior section here somewhere. Interior shop. There we go. Bench bandit. Bench avalanche. Okay, so I think we want uh, we want charger. Oh sweet. Okay, so we can do regular seats. We can do regular steering wheel. I kind of wish you could like I want to customize a little bit. That'd be good. I mean in the meantime I'm gonna grab um, two front seats. I, I don't I don't even know that these are gonna be better than what I have in there. It doesn't seem like they have a condition, so I might have just spent money on seats I didn't really need. But it would be cool if you could just, like, customize with any kind of steering wheel that you want. So they've got all these different... Oh, actually, you know, they just, these are, like, generic steering wheels. So, I mean, theoretically, we could buy any other steering... Oh, we could put, like, a chain steering wheel in there. <laughs> um, so there's... I guess we could pick, like, a different steering wheel if we wanted to. For right now, I'm just going to go with the, the stock one that's part of the car. But I think it would be cool later on to do a little bit more customizing. And the chain one's kind of neat. I wouldn't... I, I'd hate to drive a car with a chain steering wheel, but it does look kind of cool. Alright, so if we go to interior disassemble mode, and then interior assemble. We can put our steering wheel in. Front left seat. Oh no, there is a condition on them. Okay, so I, it was definitely a good thing that I hauled these things out and get some new ones. I probably... I don't know. Maybe there was a chance that I could fix them, but I don't know. Okay, so we have all new interior seating in it. No, I keep hitting the escape button. I'm gonna go back to normal mode. That looks pretty sharp. The car is pretty much finished at this point, even though the interior still... I mean, there's like flaking and stuff on the like the chrome bits that are in here. So I, I don't know... I don't know that there's anything further you can do to fix the interior of the car. It doesn't seem like there are any other options here. When I check out the car status, I mean, the global body condition is only 86%. Even though we just repaired the body, we have all new parts on the body, but it's still not getting up to that 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 full 100% mark, which strikes me as kind of funny. The value of the car now is showing at 53,453. Restoration bonus of 3,729. I'd love to know how to get it to the point where the global body condition is better. It, it just doesn't seem like there's any way... Uh, doesn't think there's any way to fix the interior and make it any nicer. Uh, all of the body parts that we have on the outside of this thing are 
are fresh and new now. We have all new mechanical parts. We repaired the uh, the actual uh, body itself. Let's see. Can I get into a picture mode here? Can I do that yet? All right. Photo mode is still locked for me. Unfortunately, I can't get in there and, do, and take a photo of it. But it does look pretty sharp. I want to take it up for a spin. We'll do a quick spin on the track with it. And then maybe we'll go hit up the junkyard and see if we can find something else to add. Uh, we, there's tons of barns here I could raid, too. But I'm not ready to do that just yet. This thing definitely has a rumble to it when it's... Uh, Look at that. That looks really, really sharp. Yeah, it's peeling it out. It's funny, we're not getting, uh, we're not getting all the burnt rubber anymore. The car is probably a lot heavier now, actually, now, now, that, uh, now that we have all the body parts on it. Because when we were driving around without a hood and doors and everything else, oh man. <laughs> I just couldn't even make that turn. There we go. We're getting a little more... Ah, peeling it out just a little bit more. Come on. This thing definitely has power. I like that. So, still smoking it a little bit, but we're not getting... We're not getting quite as... Oh, man. It's still greasy. Oh! Take out those pylons. We just fixed up the whole car. I'm going to wind up trashing it on the racetrack by smashing it into a wall or something. I'm not using the, uh, the Xbox controller right now. I'm trying to do this with the keyboard, which I find... The steering piece of it is a little bit harder because it's all on or all off. There's no, there's no like happy medium there. <laughs> I should not be a race car driver. All right, so we did a whole bunch of this racing last time, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. But it does look pretty sharp now that the car's all finished up. I definitely want to get some more, uh, some more cars all decked out and finished. Uh, so. Oh my gosh! I think that'll be our project for the next little while. We'll just be working on these. I'm gonna still do some uh, some work in between videos because it seems like with there being another level to repair parts yet, there's got to be something else there. I, I don't know what that unlocks. I mean, we're at 95% for uh, for parts repair as it is. Come on! Oh, let's peel it around. Ah, uh, actually, that was probably one of the better times I took that corner. Ah, uh, and then I hit a tire wall. Anyway. <laughs> So there it is, all finished up. It looks pretty sharp. I'm really liking that. Yeah, we're back at the junkyard, and actually... The ambient sound level is significantly lower in here. They must have done a patch to try to solve for that, because there were a lot of people I know that were kind of complaining about how loud it was when you go to the... Go to the barns and you go to the junkyard, the sound level just jumps way up. Got a fancy little two here. What is this? Is this some sort of a Mazda? Mazda RX-7. I don't really care about having one of those. Maybe eventually. I'm, I'm, when we get down to it, I'm probably going to wind up storing pretty, restoring pretty much every car in the game. But for now, I don't really want a Mazda RX-7. I want something that's kind of cooler. Uh, this thing we're probably not going to go with either. And look at this puppy. It is a mess. It's missing most of the body parts. All of the seats in the interior. No steering wheel. Probably most of the engines missing on this thing, too. Bolt Chapman. It's like a Cadillac. Big old caddy. Still, that's not that's not what I'm in the market for. Let's uh, let's look around for something a little fancier. I'd like to find maybe another muscle car. We still have the Dodge Challenger that we can fix up, which is kind of cool. Oh, what have we here? Something that's a fastback. Bolt Hellcat. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna snag that. That is definitely not something I have in the garage right now. And for five thousand seven hundred and twenty-three dollars. I will take it. We'll send that off to the car parking. Uh, what do we hear? Another hot mess. Chieftain TBX. So we already have a Chieftain to work on. I'm not going to grab that right now. We just got uh, we just got one of these. This is the uh, the, the Typhoon. DC Typhoon, which I, I think is supposed to be like a little Shelby Cobra, but I'm not positive. Um, so I'm not going to grab that one. This looks like another Sakura Moon. Yeah, we already have a Sakura Moon to work on, so I'm not going to grab that one. I think that might be pretty much it for the, the wrecks in here that we will have to pick from. I have a lot of barns that I could raid, though, too. I guess there's... It's not that there's, like... From what I understand, there isn't, like, a car rarity in this game, where some cars are more rare than others to find. It's more just about where you can find them. And I'm not sure if there are some things that we could be finding in a, in a, a little barn find somewhere that we just simply won't see in the wrecking yards. So I was looking around in the garage because I, I just 
the interior of the car was really bugging me, and I kind of wanted to poke around and see if there was something we could do to fix things up. And it turns out there is. There's actually an interior de uh, detailing kit here that I didn't notice for whatever reason. I walked by it several times. I didn't realize it was something you could click on. So not only there's a battery charger here that we have now, so we can we can charge up batteries that it didn't spot before. Uh, the welder lets us fix up the body. So by getting that third expansion into our shop, it's actually added quite a bit in here, which is kind of cool. So let's take this detailing kit. We'll fix up the inside of the car. Now, I, I don't think there's any way still to get to the point where... Uh, there we go. Send it over there. Uh, I don't, still don't think there's any point, like, uh, way to get the, the car up to 100% in terms of the, the total body. But at least if we can kind of work on detailing here. Now, I have a feeling this will just be a case we just click. Yeah, same thing. Just use equipment and it does all the all the, the fixing and everything. Hopefully this makes it more shiny, too. $100. Charging myself $100 to clean the inside of my car. That's That seems a little ridiculous to me. <laughs> but as long as it gets the job done, I guess. So now when we look inside, it looks a lot better. So we don't have like the flaking chrome and stuff anymore. It doesn't look dirty. I, so I think now we can call the car pretty much completely finished at this point. And our total condition on the car is now 89%. That was the closest we could get it. I've replaced all of the different uh, body parts to it. We've used the welder to fix the, the core chassis of the vehicle and everything. We've done the detailing on the inside. We've replaced all the seats and the steering wheel with 100% parts on the inside. And we're still at 89%. I think that's about the best we're going to get it. So I'm going to call it a wrap for today. It's really nice to have this finished. I'll have to send it back to the garage now. When we come back next time, we're going to pull another car out of the garage and we'll do a full build. I'm going to do that as a live stream, I think, so that we can... Uh, you can kind of chat a little bit while we're doing the full rebuild. And some of the parts that are in the rebuild, I did actually uh, kind of clip out as I was doing my editing and things. So you might want to see the entire process right from start to finish. Uh, but we'll take a car from the garage and we'll do the entire thing. All the mechanical parts, all the body, spray painting, detailing. So we have another completely polished car for our garage. But thanks everyone for checking out the video. I do hope you enjoy these and you'll come back and check out some more. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.